So I have some cool updates. The first update is going to be about an ebook that I wrote, and it's especially for marketers. The second update is going to be about some changes and some pivots in the new business that I'm working on because, man alive, are things complicated sometimes. And uh, I think we'll just stick to those two updates because why not? So the first thing is the ebook. I, this morning, finished publishing, or it's still being published. I finished writing 500 chat GPT prompts for marketers. Uh, I trained my chat GPT container, uh, whatever you want to call it, package, you know, its own little world. Uh, we, spo we spoke back and forth about marketing and ways to make effective chat GPT prompts that you can essentially put in your own variables in the business you work in or whatever goal you're trying to accomplish. Uh, and through these main prompts and then their corresponding sub prompts, you can get an outline for pretty much any activity you want to get within the realm of marketing. I have it for sale on Amazon. It's nine bucks for the ebook and 20 bucks for the actual physical copy. That's quite a bit more than my creative writing prompts, but I figure people who are pursuing creative writing don't have as much money to spend as those who are working in marketing. I mean, this, this ebook absolutely saves you more than an hour of time. And unless your time is worth less than $10, I think it's a no brainer just to piggyback off the work I've done over the past, I'd say it took me eight hours to make this, uh, piggyback off that work, save yourself a whole bunch of time and come into your next meeting with a list of ideas that make you look like a genius. An example is, uh, let's say you want to audit your website's SEO or the company you work for's website. That's a very basic thing that pretty much everyone understands is important. But with the 10 sub prompts, you can effectively outline a strategy based on whatever goal you're trying to accomplish uh, and then use the answer of those 10 sub prompts to then further synthesize a cohesive strategy that's deployable the next day. It's not gonna do it for you, but it's gonna give you the steps you have to take and in what order to take them in to accomplish your goal. That's what marketing is. Marketing isn't converting sales. It's putting people or sales processes in a position to convert sales. Marketing is the gun and sales is the bullet. And on a side note, the cover is kind of ugly, but I don't think that's bad. I think that sometimes we associate things that are aesthetically pleasing with being good. And sometimes in the context of product marketing, something ugly is gonna convert more sales because you're gonna get more eyes on it. Second thing I wanna talk about is the new business that I'm trying to launch. And that was the AB testing YouTube thumbnail business. That has proven to be extremely complicated. I think I, I mentioned on an earlier video, but getting the info, manipulating the info, and uploading the info, three separate processes that all entail their own difficulties, their own unique problems. And so what I'm trying to do now is take a few steps back, uh, cut the top off my ideas, and get down to what its most fundamental component can be, not is for the case of YouTube, but what it can be. So only downloading data, only manipulating data, only uploading data. I wanna create a business that does each of those individual things. So after I become passable at them, I can uh, combine them together to create this new final product. So here's my most recent idea. I think a marketplace for social media collaborations or promos is uh, very is good is a good way to do this okay it started raining uh and my previous take lost all its audio so we're just gonna run through this and you're gonna have to put up with the constant pitter pattering on my metal ceiling on my porch so what is a marketplace for collaborations it's gonna be a place where anybody who has a TikTok or a youtube or an instagram or a facebook or any social media profile can upload and integrate those profiles to the marketplace to prove that they have this many followers, that they have this many views per video, that their audience retention is this amount. All of the pertinent metrics that a, a, an advertiser or a business who's trying to buy influencers cares about. It's gonna facilitate all of that, taking any kind of agency or management out of the equation. And so maybe that doesn't appeal to the larger creators who have someone essentially full-time managing their YouTube account, for example, I think it opens up a ripe market for smaller influencers. People who typically get less than 10,000 views a video, they can upload and prove they're getting this kind of engagement. And then depending on the niche, certainly there are companies who are going to want to buy slots from them for 500 bucks or 200 bucks. 
and it can be an entirely self-served platform, which means all I do is make sure it runs fine and I take my 10% cut. I think that's a really good way to utilize integrating social media channels to a marketplace style website. Uh, and that's gonna teach me two really, really important things. One being marketplace integration and the other being social media account integration. If you like this kind of stuff, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're talking about all sorts of interesting things every single day.